Hey guys and gals. So this is um something that I just wanted to share with y'all and it's um in my opinion very important because it deals with the um getting over of <clears throat> certain barriers to creativity because there are a lot okay and um one such barrier is for um in game design is what engine are you going to commit to for the creation of your product and then how are you going to um, learn how to use that engine? How are you going to learn to do what you're doing? So let me kind of go to the right here and show you this guy. This is um, Heart Beast, and I'm on tutorial 16 for Game Maker Studio Beginner Tutorial, right? So his video series is um, on Game Maker Studio, but... Uh, it's done in such a way where he has quantized it perfectly. So let's take a look. His videos are about, his longest video I've seen is about 30 minutes. And that one was pretty gnarly because there's just a lot of stuff in it. But the average one is about 20 minutes. And, you know, why is that important? Well, when you're programming and you're making this stuff, there is a lot of, um ways to get exhausted okay so when I was um, uh, first working on it it's so there's almost this like oh I gotta learn a new language I gotta new, learn a new uh, engine or something like that well the thinking is on it is for example let's say you are you have a let's say you have a degree in programming or computer science or something in you, you know you went to school, did all your stuff, you know, you got a job in computer programming, and then you just jumped right into it and, you know, started working on it. Well, in that situation, I was talking to this guy who did exactly that, and he was saying that the best way to uh, go about a, um, like, going about programming is to learn one language and then have a deep mastery of that language. And he was absolutely right. I mean, every time I'm looking at a, um, uh, you know, some kind of job thing online or whatever, they're always talking about how, um, uh, like for example, Java. You're looking at Java, there is um, the base language, of course, and then there's all these little things that they want. And, uh, you know, sometimes it gets a little bit, like, uh, I wouldn't say intimidating, but almost like, uh, whatever. I, I want to make stuff, not just jump right into it. Because usually you learn these special APIs and these nuances about the language as you go, you know. It's, it's kind of like being a um, car mechanic, unless you're... You, you actually learn the stuff and then had someone who show you other things you might not know all the little nuances that might be important for a test or something if you wanted to become like a senior car repair technician or whatever they're gonna say well how do you deal with this situation you might not know because you're pretty green at it but the interesting thing is that since I didn't go the route that guy said of just mastering one language and then getting really good at all the nuances, which probably would have been ideal if I did, <laughs> did that. But one of the advantages of trying all sorts of different languages and, and almost going through these types of tutorial things and learning them is you see the similarities in the uh, basic aspects of the code. So... You know, you'll notice everything's got their with, if, you'll, you know, if, else, you know, you got your plus equals, all this stuff. Eventually, the stuff starts to 
feel the same. And the real exciting thing is this video series I'm on is only 32 videos long. I'm halfway there. And I'd say don't give up in um, you know your pursuit of whatever engine you're on because the thing is is that even though I'm learning this engine I've you know I wanted to do a 2d Zelda like you know Zelda like with some RPG elements for years but I never really found the right platform for it and you know, let's face it, some of these engines are expensive. I mean, Game Maker Studio, this is, you can't really get this version for cheap anymore. I kind of got lucky on a Humble Bundle. But, um, th that's a thing. It's almost like you gotta kiss a lot of frogs to get access to that one gem that really is the en engine for you, you know. And, um, I'm, right now I'm feeling this one. Like, I'm really, really enjoying it. And, um, the whole thing is not giving up. A, I'd say A, not giving up on an engine if it's not the engine's fault. So what do I mean by that? So I tried Unreal and it was just too much of a learning curve for me to jump into for what I wanted to do with it. Yes, it looked like it can make little Android type stuff and 2D things, but it didn't have the kind of um, like didn't really have the 2D retro feel that I was interested in. So let's take a look at my sword sprite here. So um, this is my character Thax and um, let's look at the right. So as you can see um, there's all these different sub animations that I designed in the little app that I made to make this process go faster. Okay, This wouldn't have been possible for me to make them all like the way I wanted to at, a, at the rate I was able to make them if I didn't work on my own like support software to make my make my stuff now granted the software I use to make my process go faster may not be make any sense for somebody else but you get to make that decision on how your system gets to develop and that's what is so exciting about like great great teachers I mean look at this guy heart beast I mean I, he he has a book online that I'm thinking about checking out um, but it's like after just taking a couple of his tutorials I was already like coming up with my own sprites you know coming up with my own stuff and like tweaking my thing I'm like no way I want to put my own guy into this tutorial and then use it as a um, kind of a um, base system, you know, for the eventual game I'm making. And that's, I mean, that's when you got a great teacher right there. Because um, when you have a great teacher, it makes you want to almost say, you know what, I, I can do things better. Or let me put my own spin on it. And... Um, I think that's one of the b biggest compliments you can give uh, a teacher or, or a mentor. Um, doesn't matter if it's in a person in a classroom or someone you've never met online. Is when you take, you know, part of their lesson plan and and made your own ev evolution of that with your own kind of style and needs. So let me give an example. So with this tutorial series, uh, making RPG a game maker. It was all based on the Xbox controller, so it was all about analog, but that's not the route I wanted to go. I wanted to go for the directional pad of an Xbox controller or designed for a classic style controller. Now, this is an actual real Super Nintendo controller, like this is an actual real one modified to work on a computer. And so I'm very, very serious about that um, retro um, kind of... Zelda-like combat feel. I mean, I'm, I'm not even going to make the first stage until it feels tight. And, um, you know, I, I just can't, I'm a zealot when it comes to that. I cannot have it where the combat experience is not 100% dialed in. And, um, you know, 
<laughs> may not be completely necessary. I don't know. But to me, it is. And, and you know, the whole thing is, is going to be like that because this is, for me, it's like something I've wanted to do my whole life. And so, um, is that level of passion required? I don't think it may necessarily be, you know, there's a lot of people that are creating a lot of projects that are, you know, very successful, but their emphasis may be dialogue or whatnot, but they're always passionate about that one thing that they think other people are going to be interested in. And, um, you know, I, if, if an, if a certain engine can get you working on what makes you passionate about something, then I think it's the right engine for you. So right now I'm very excited about, um, Game Maker Studio and, you know, this uh, tutorial series and everything. And, uh, this is, um, so you, as you can see, you can even preview your stuff. Um, but, you know, this is just this is just getting this is getting to the point where the momentum is really picking up and I'm definitely having fun sharing these uh, updates as well peace